Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 64, released by Konami themselves, I believe, in 1990. I did not know this was a thing. Obviously, it's based on the NES game that was released by Konami in 1986, where you play Simon Belmont uh, and you're in Castle Dracula. I mean, basically, there's a ton of them, isn't there? And they've all got slight variations on the story, and slight variations on the character and stuff like that, but essentially lone vampire hunter hunting dracula in his own castle uh hugely successful series of games i only ever really got invested in played and loved super castlevania 4 on the snes which was probably because i never had a nes and i never i knew one other person who had it and i don't think he had castlevania i knew it was a thing from you know the reviews it got in magazines so the whole castlevania thing kind of went by me i know there's an msx version i played the msx version the msx version is how many times can i say msx very close to the nes version uh but i did not know there was a commodore 64 version i think there might be a bad amiga version as well but yeah let's crack into it so it's converted by usi uh unlimited software inc but released by konami so if it's not done by Konami themselves how's it gonna fare Right, so let's get into it. At least it's got front end, I'll give it that. How we got the intro? Oh, that's a bit loud. It's gonna drop me straight into it, isn't it? Yeah. Start. Oh, we got continued for save game. Nice. Right, I'm editing out all the loading times because since I've been using my Super Console X, to play Commodore 64 games, and even with fast load, when I played this games, I never realised how much loading was involved with a Commodore 64. Anyway, score top left to the right of that time, so I should probably shut up. Underneath that, my heart, my health. Underneath that, my enemy's health. To the right of that will be, is it my secondary weapon? Then to the right of that, stage hearts and three lives. I was going to say it doesn't look terrible, but it does. Right, got a whip, got a jump. Up. And then, oh yeah. The music's not terrible, but if it's going to be on the smallest loop ever, then it's going to be terrible. Is that that's freezing me? I really would have thought. Right, alpha. That's a bit. Oh god, god. Saucy whip. Hold it far down, and I should probably. Yeah. That's rep represented by heart. It's been ages since I've played Jerusalem Castlevania. Right, so we're in Castlevania. Right, I've given myself... This is a train run, but the only cheating I've done is I've given myself unlimited lives. Because I don't want to die super early at the start and have to sit through all the fucking loading again. Your whip's not the most responsive thing in the world. Oh yeah, look like you. Hey, right. Uh oh. Right, that's awkward, but it might be because I'm on the world's shittiest control pad. Super as well. Well, that's no. Uh, I just can't get over how it looks. You've got to really position yourself with the diagonals so you don't fall through the gap. Good luck hitting those ones up there. Is he going to come back? Right. And money. I care not for money. I'm in this for glory in undead shit. It's a bit clumsy with your secondary weapon. Also, those cheap spawns are fucking annoying. Right, up here. 
I just can't get over how bad this looks. Look at Spectral whatever it is on the Spectrum. I can't remember, but there's a Russian homebrew version of Castlevania on the Spectrum. And what it has the Spectrum colour palette thing going on, uh, I don't know, actually clash. It looks like Castlevania. This looks like a shit sandwich. Right. This, this looks awful. Okay. Turn around. You can't turn around, you have to do your diagonals. I don't even know what that is. Do I go down? Yeah. I'm loading. Is it glitching there? Hello. Oh, well, even the hell are they? They're going to push me back, aren't they? Right, I can hit them on. This is going to annoy me. <clears throat> oh look, I've got speed. Loading. Well, I wonder how long it would take if it was on fast load. Right. And he made it. And he still got fucking hit by the cheap hit detection. I don't know if they spawn like this on the NES version, they probably do, I'm like I said, it's been ages since I've played it, fuck me this is irritating. Okay. And then with a the really incredibly precise trying to get up the stairs, it just... Did I suck... Oh! Did I suck a bit in there? Am I stuck? No, I can go through that. Fuck it! You know when I said I should I didn't put Infinite Lives? I should have put Infinite Health on, shouldn't I? Yeah, it takes me past there. Right. Can I even dump their flop? Run, Forrest. No, you just can't avoid anything. What oh, keeps doing that? Your health just takes an absolute kicking. I think I'm just doing as bad as this or making all the same mistakes I did on the MSX version. But at least that didn't fucking offend my eyes. Oh, I could jump and win. Oh, look at that! Oh, I'm on the stairs, so of course I can. how I did that. Yeah, these controls are terrible. Shizer balls. In fact, I'd go as far as to say. In your own time game, no pressure. I mean, if you played this back in the day and you have a soft spot for it, I mean, it's accurate, I guess. And I'm being harsh. By all means, let me know. But this just plays like an absolute bag of spanners. And it's pretty bag of spannery in the looks department as well. Commodore could do way better than this. Right, so. Oh, double hits. You know those hits that are like double hits. And that's really taking me out. What was the Spectrum one called? 
that wasn't official, I'm sorry. No! Oh! Holy water. Kitchen! because I'm falling down a totally deep hole. <laughs> I mean, if this was the only way you could play it and you played it on your mate's SNES and loved it, then would you have been happy with it? I want to say, no! But, you know, we put up with some shit then, didn't we, just again? Well, look at what we did with Pared Down Arcade Conversion, so why would this be any different? Oh, wait, because it controls like a bag of... Banners. Did I mention that? Bollocks! Starting to wish I didn't give myself infinite lives now, to be fair. Oh, I haven't got any super doohickey weapons. I have now, along with seizure and a headache. Fuck it! I mean, that's not its fault. It's been accurate with that friggin' annoying bounce back mechanic, which drove everyone nuts. Fuck it! I don't even know what I've got to do when I get to that bit, or how to get past it. To be honest, I don't think I care. <laughs> hey! Look at me dodging like a boss. Fuck it, I can't face any more Castlevania on the Commodore 64. It's a bit shit, really, but at least you got Castlevania on the Commodore 64. I wouldn't have bothered. I just would have got a fucking paper round and bought an ass. Anyway, it was a lot tonight, thing, especially if you played this back in the day. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I can't even talk. It's affected me that much. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.